here we have some kind of tricky word problems that deal with midpoints and number lines. And the one piece of advice I would have for you here is always draw a diagram uh, to help make these easier. Let's look at the first one. It says, at the beginning of a bike trip on a trail that goes due east, Devin noticed that he was three kilometers west of a dead Douglas fir. Okay, so we've got a bike trail that goes east. So that direction is east. So east this way, west this way. And it says, at the beginning of the trail, so let's say here's the beginning of the trail, Devin noticed that he was three kilometers west of a dead Douglas fir. So west would be that way. So Devin is west of the fir tree. So here's the tree. I don't know how he can see that three kilometers away. He must have good eyes. So there's Devin. There's our um, fir tree. And that's three kilometers distance. Then it says, if the midpoint of his ride was four kilometers east of the dead Douglas fir. So another four kilometers in this direction, east, is the midpoint of the ride. And then the question is, how far did Devin have to travel? So if this is the midpoint, his endpoint is somewhere out here, we know that this distance from the beginning to the midpoint, well, it's seven, mi or seven kilometers. And since that's to the midpoint, he's going to go another seven to get to the end. So this is just simply 14 kilometers that Devin has to travel. It gets pretty easy once you draw a picture. Let's look at one more, and this is a particularly tricky kind. It says, if Ruby is 23 miles west of Judy. So, okay, let's draw a little trail here, and let's see, west is that way, east is that way, and it says Ruby is 23 miles west of Judy. So I'm just going to pick a point for Ruby. And let's see, she's 23 miles west of Judy, so let's put Judy in here, and we'll call that 23 between them. Okay. Now, the tricky part is that the next phrase says, Sachi is 32 miles east of Delia, and I don't really know where to put that on here because I don't see how it's related to Ruby or Judy. So this section, I'm going to put on hold for a minute and see if there's anything else in the problem that's going to help me with that later. The next part says, and Delia is 48 miles west of Judy. Okay, I have Judy on here. So Delia is 48 miles west, so in this direction, of Judy. I'm going to extend this out a little bit. And so let's say this is Delia, and this distance is 48. I think that makes sense. Delia is 48 miles west of, of Judy. All right, and now let's go back to this second it says Sachi is 32 miles east of Delia okay so here's Delia she's gonna be 32 miles east of her so somewhere somewhere in here I'm guessing is Sachi and this distance right here is 32 looks a little complicated but I think we can figure things out here now the question is how many miles is Ruby from Sachi so we want to find Ruby to Sachi, which is this little part right in here. So what I want to do here is figure out what this um, distance between uh, Delia and Ruby is. And I can do that because I know that this chunk right here from Ruby to Judy is 23, and this chunk from Delia to Judy is 48. So all I need to do to find this chunk is to subtract 23 from 48, which should leave me with 25. So this chunk is 25. And now, to find this little bit in here, I would subtract 25 from 32, because that's the distance from Delia to Sachi. And uh, 32 minus 25, that is going to be 7 miles. So 7 miles is the answer there. It's a little bit tricky, but once you label in everything that you know. You can start figuring out the parts you don't know by subtracting some distances, and those will work out in the end. So that's a little bit of practice with problems dealing with midpoints and number lines.